with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the next thing, which is movies, upcoming movies this week. So the movie theaters keep pressing on with the limited amount of movies that they can, that are coming out or whatnot. And we have three new movies that are coming out this weekend. One of them, I believe, is the more recognizable, you know, name out of the other ones, which is called Judas and the Black Messiah, which is a movie that I definitely, definitely want to check out. It looks amazing. It has Daniel uh, Kaluuya and uh, Lakeith Stanfield. Which both of them, I am a fan of just their acting, you know, in like the movies that they're in. I'm, I'm a big fan because they're both phenomenal actors. And it's about, it's actually just based off real events. It's about an FBI informant in the Black Panthers gathering information or intelligence on the chairman, Fred Hampton, played by uh, Daniel Kaluuya. And the informant is played by uh, Lakeith Stanfield. And right now on Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 98% which is fucking phenomenal. And on Metacritic, it has an 84%, which still is phenomenal. The next film that comes out is called Land, and it's starring uh, Robin Wright and uh, Damien Bashir. And it's about a local hunter who brings a grieving lawyer back from the brink of death after she retreats in the harsh wilderness of the Rockies. And right now on IMDb, it has a 6.8 out of 10 on Metacritic at 61%, and Rotten Tomatoes has it at a 60%. And the last and final film that's coming out this weekend is uh, The Meritanian. And it stars Shane Lee Whitley, uh, Jodie Foster, and Tamir Rahim. And it is revolve. It's basically about a uh, conspiracy revolving around a suspected 9/11 terrorist who is in prison in Guantanamo Bay for six years, and the attorney who is handling the case. And Rotten Tomatoes has it at a 63%, Indie Wire at a two out of five, and Metacritic at a 50%. And it, from the trailer, it looked like it was it's going to be dope. It looks like it's going to be dope. It's a movie that really, after seeing the trailer, is like, yeah, this is a movie I definitely want to check out. But out of all three of the films, Judas and the Black Messiah is the more interesting one to me. Uh, with uh, the Meritanian, uh, Meritanian, I keep messing up on the name, uh, Meritanian, that one being like number two and then Land being number three. But all of them seem very interesting films that I definitely want to check out. And uh, most... I don't know. It just it like these three films. It, it it just shows that the climate that we're in, you know, right now that we don't have really too many major big films. But you know, Judas and the Black Messiah seems like a major huge film, especially during Black History Month. So since I've been watching a lot of black films lately, and it's not even just by like on purpose. It's just by like. I'm definitely gonna check this one. I'm gonna check that one out, and then it's like, oh, you know, shit. I'm coming across a whole bunch of black films, but I'm very curious to see uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, especially with it being based off of true events. So, I mean, out of all three of those, that's the one that I'm most excited about, and those are the three movies coming out this weekend.